Hello everybody, this is Troll Force and welcome to the Old Brother. And this is another um addition to the uh Indonesia seven year anniversary and um this was made by um Andre. Yeah, or um, bro Andre and all that shit. And um Well this is off to a good start. <laughs> Alright, let's just read the description. Your old brother, Eugene, locks you up in an attic for his own entertainment. One day when you finally decide to stand up, something really out of the ordinary happens. Damn it. So yeah. I try I did make a video on this Saigon before, but I was really tired when I was playing it, but now now my fucking nose nose is plugged up, god damn it. Sorry about that. It's funny, I had it going there for like a few seconds and now I don't know what to say. Oh, when I um, added more RAM to my computer too, I opened up my old one, took the stick out. Only had a 2 gigabyte stick and um, I put it in this, now I have 6 gigabytes. <coughs> you stay there and don't say anything. You got it. If you tell father about this, I'm gonna tell him about you and Elizabeth. No, please don't lock me up here again. Quiet. I promise not to go out if I. I no, what? please. I promise not to go out with underage girls again. I mean, um, classy ladies. Or right, whatever. Fuck. Come on, dude. She is. Si I'm 16. She's 13. What's what wrong with that? Playing for himself in the forest. Then come. We have business to finish. Okay. So it is running a tad bit better. And the loading screens are not going be a problem anymore. <laughs> Damn it. I cannot see Jack fucking shit. Hello. My name is Andre. Hi. I am the voice actor of the protagonist and also the main developer of The Old Brother. My main challenge with this mod was really to create levels that looked good, even though the engine is quite dated. Yes. The way that I achieved this, or the way that I tried to achieve this, was mainly through the use of spotlights, which is a type of lighting that can cast shadows, making the feeling. level more immersive, but also it's very taxing graphically wise because of all the shadow rendering. So I created a lot of custom light models, or lamp models, that do cast shadows. I did not light all of them up in the level because for obvious performance reasons. The player can choose to light these lamps in his own, but the performance is really going to suffer. Huh. My performance is a tad bit better since I added that extra shtick. Ooh, look at these. Look at all this food. So yeah, I'll just refer to these boxes as food. Yeah, all right, whatever the fuck. Sorry for all the snorting. And uh, what else? Uh, what else is going on? Please let me out! So what happened between me and Elizabeth, you say? Well... Um... Oliver's diary. Six out. <laughs> God damn it. Six ten eighteen thirty five. I hate being up here. It's scary. It's full of spiders and absolutely boring as in all hell. But yet he locks me up in here. I tried to tell my father about this, but he thinks I'm lying. I can't stand this place anymore. As soon as I'm out of here, I'll force my father to understand. But I'll have to sign to prove me right. Hammer. How did I never see that before? I don't know. I just discovered it first time too. Now let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Why wouldn't my brother lock me up in here? Cool. 
Is it a rock that looks like a face, or is it a face that looks like a rock? Hmm. One important thing to take note when building a level is to balance the elements that are graphically demanding to render. Originally, this fountain used a reflective water texture, and because of the amount of shadows and detailed models being reflected, both of my GTX 9 batteries weren't being able to reach 60 FPS in this area, so I changed it back to a non-reflective texture. Well, I'm kind of, kind of in like 20 FPS right now, but still. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna turn the fan on, I'm hot. I'm back. Alright. Why do I like breaking this shit? <laughs> yeah, you can see the buttons and shit. I'll, I'll get to those in a minute. Smash. 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 <laughs> Smashy smash. Smashy smashy smash. Ah, yeah, you see, this is where it comes to play. Press all these buttons. See, there's another one over here somewhere. Oh yeah. Now get in here. The frame rate won't improve. Just wait. I think I heard something move. So yeah, my um, custom story, it's still going along, but I'm just like still writing the story so I know what I'm going to put in the game, you know? I'm not going to tell you anything about the story yet, like, it's still being worked on and it's going to be really good too, I'm going to try to keep it creative, make it make sense and all that shit, you'll like it. Alright. I don't think I got through the store, but I don't think I can. Nope. Okay. Now let's go upstairs. And Andre, I hope you're watching this too, because, uh, yeah. I'm playing your game, and a bunch of other things too. Yeah, loading time's really cut down. So, I'm so glad that I, I added that extra RAM, but... Wish I was in our 4 gigabytes, so I can have 8, but yeah. I just have 6 right now. Let's take a look at the closet, get some food. Campbell's chicken noodle motherfucking soup. in his rooms. Some fucking oil and a fucking chalice and a fucking plant I can't break. Actually I can. Watch. <sighs> Alright. Now I gotta use this cr Ooh, no, let's not waste that. What what the fuck? I thought I swear I just saw something. Okay. Oh, guys, and uh, guess what? This coming, this coming October. Wait, what? Oh yeah, on October, or um, probably like this weekend. I'm gonna be playing Outlast. Yeah, you guys will watch me scream and shit my pants and shit my pants and scream when I play that game. You will like it. While I suffer, you will enjoy it. And these will be real screams, not the fucking overreacted Markiplier and goddamn PewDiePie screams and all that shit. 
This would be real screams and a bunch of fucking sh crazy shit. Yeah. Because that game is scary as fuck. Scarier than Amnesia, honestly. But, I think I said it before, but I like Amnesia more. Today, my workers say they have reached an old complex of tunnels, which is their catacombs. I'm not sure about that. I have to check it myself. We can definitely use the tunnels to accelerate the mining. Well, that was very short. Okay, we got the room key. Now let's get into the room. And this is pretty much as far as I got before I stopped recording because I was so fucking dreadfully tired. Where the fuck is the basement? Oh, I think I know where it is. Yeah, the grunts are there. Bow, bitch! <laughs> Alright. God damn it. It's fucking sucks. My nose and shit. Just kind of congested right now. This is probably the way. Nope. How about this? Yes. Oh my god. Why are we going in the basement? Why are we going in the basement? Basements fucking suck. We don't have basements in Florida because it's goddamn impossible. Unless you have a whole team of people to scoop out the fucking mud out of the way so you can put in some like fucking concrete blocks and mortar and a bunch of other shit. But yeah. <laughs> okay, we're in a fucking basement now. Well, this place is. We probably need to go there later, but I'm not sure. Okay, why the fuck is there a collapse section in the house? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. <gasps> Ooh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Where's the chair? Holy shit. Yes, this game gets more realistic. Lots of useless- Wait, no. Lots of useful shit lying all over the place. Food, food, food. Don't fucking fall over. There we go. Look at all this shit. This is awesome. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Andre, for the plethora of um a bunch of grabbable shit. Obtainable. Fuck yes. Awesome man. Awesome. <laughs> Now let's read this. I explored some parts of the catacombs myself. After about an hour wandering and analyzing the types of rocks to see who would be of any use to mine inside these catacombs, we found a large room with a pedestal and a strange polished stone. It was emitting light. I called several different experts to take a look at the orb. One of them told me it is an old orb of wisdom, believed to be from the natives that once lived in this area. Their presence in this region was well documented. But he had never heard of the catacombs associated with them. Interesting. Let me guess, another fucking monster, huh? As you pick up every goddamn key in the game, monsters can show up. It's a way of life in this fucking game. Every time you pick up a key, a monster comes. Wait a minute. I did see that. What's over here? Hmm. I know what's gonna happen when I pick that shit up. Let me just look around for a bit. I'll look around before I pick it up. Uh. Yeah, there's nothing behind there. Hmm. Uh, what the fuck is this thing? Nothing in this room. Probably a monster spawn. Uh. Nothing back there either. Why the fuck is a padlock backwards? Yeah. 
Okay, let's pick up that jaw. Let's pick up the jaw. Torch fuel. What? Okay. Just got some torch fuel. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Can I climb this? Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. I almost fell. <laughs> I went with it there pretty fast. Let's see if I can get down here safely. There we go. There's some red barrel, huh? I've never actually seen that a fully red barrel on an amnesia. Was this TNT or some shit? I'm probably gonna take it with me. It's a special snowflake of the bunch. Looks like a fucking barrel full of explosives or like filled with blood and shit. Like blood, meat, and all that fucking good stuff. What do I do with this torch fuel? And what do I do with this? I have a feeling I have to do something with this thing. Oh, did I go over there? I think I did. What the fuck do I do? Take it upstairs? Oh, I get it. Okay, I know what to do. Dude, did you retexture this barrel? That's pretty cool. Wish more people would do that. Seriously, it looks like a fucking barrel filled with meat. Like raw, like decaying and fucking shit meat. <laughs> What? That's not it. What? What? Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just go back in there and turn the lancer off so I can see the things I need to grab. Oh, I still have a crowbar, too. I can't go back there. There's nothing behind that. There's nothing in there. Yeah. Oh god damn, I don't get stuck again. But it could be behind these boxes. Yeah, I have to get in there somehow. But how? Let's just look around here. I'm leaving the lantern off so like you can see the things you need to grab, like um I'm gonna go up here again. I don't think there's anything up here, but it's wor worth looking. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Up here. What the f fuck do I need to do? There's nothing behind this. Wait. What? Oh. <laughs> what do I need to do? I got that fucking red barrel. That's the only thing I could see here. The fuck? Probably, Andre is like probably looking at me like a fucking dumbass. Like it's probably really easily that red barrel, but you're not really. Wait. Nah. And I gotta turn the hints on. What the fuck do I do? I got that torch fuel, but what'd I do with it? What? Put it on this? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> and I guess I got the red barrel and put it down there, huh? Okay. This doesn't make too much sense to me right now, but I'll do it. I kinda forgot the thing was there, too. Let's get, get this little barrel. Fuck up. Get up there. Got it.
Uh, okay. I guess I need to run with this thing. Yeah. 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 I know what to do with it. I think. Go! Uh. Oh, shit. That's it. There we go. Holy fucking glitch. <laughs> I'm guessing you had to do that a bunch of times, like, because the barrel was fucking things up, huh? What? Wow, that's cool. This elevator's pretty fast. Where am I going? Where the fuck is everybody in the house? It's just me here now. Lorenzo. <laughs> Like a, it looks like a chase scene right here. Oh, co of course daddy has a catacombs right underneath a fucking house. Why, that co -ankadink. The fucking structure is completely destroyed now, dad. Anytime now, with a little bit of erosion and fucking explosives, that whole goddamn house will fall down here. Great job. Yeah, door's jammed. Of course it is. Why not? Playing our monster trapped in here for god knows how long, like fucking. He's like, oh my god, the door's jammed. I wish I could open it with my claws, but. Wow. This brings back some memories of the number overture. The barrels are a little bigger. Ooh. What? What the fuck? They're not of the same material. Oh, look at this. I'm a miner. I'm playing Minecraft and shit. Mining fucking shit. <laughs> okay. Th the level design is pretty creative. I like that. Ooh. This is it. Some of the experts found old scripts of the ritual these natives performed on the stone in order to extract its wisdom. Wisdom. I'm not missing this. No. Oh, come on, dude. Stop writing fucking short ass. <sighs> Just really use your paper, dude. Damn. She can't write like two fucking sentences for each paper. <laughs> let's, take a look, let's take a look around this place. This place is gigantic. Pretty big. Are there any penumbra dogs in here by any chance? No? Never mind. I don't want to know the surprise. It doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, that Skyrim video I made yesterday. <laughs> it's funny, that, that, that was just, um... Me, <laughs> I, mean, I was doing a quest where you had to end the skooma dealer and shit like that, and, um... This glitch kept on happening, and I think it's because of the weapon I used, but... Uh, the guy, he is, he is dead, but he's, like, still in walking animation, and the wolf I killed behind him was still howling. <laughs> I swear, each and every time I play Skyrim, there's newer. Oh my god. Newer and newer glitches I see every day. Every time on there. Okay, what kind of sick fuck put that jar at the end of the corridor? It says it's just a bunch of oil. Alright. Okay. Well, that part of the mine is pretty much explored, so let's go down this way. It's kind of weird, you know that mines are pretty rare in um, custom stories these days. Like, you don't see them that much, or, or um, oh boy, that's like, I think I see a dead guy way over there. Is there anything in this cat? Okay, let's go over there and look at the body. I see something. I see something else over there too. Who is that? Is that Dad? Please don't fucking get up and chase me. A fuel pot. 
What do I? Pile fuel for a cart. Hm. I'm gonna keep an eye on you while I run back. Don't you fucking get up, because I never actually seen a penumbra ragdoll come to life and fucking chase you. That's creepy. Mm -hmm. What am I supposed to do here? What the fuck do I do? I'm so confused. Oh, what the fuck do I do? Hasn't come to life yet. Wait, do I? Ah, I see. What? What? What the fuck? Okay, what? God damn it. What am I supposed to do? I need oil and oh my Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy shit! Fuck physics. Let's just follow the cart. <laughs> God damn! It's like fucking journey to the center of the earth all over again. I probably woke that fucker up. Oh, he's still dead. <laughs> okay, let's see if there's any gems in here. Get the fuck out of the way. See, there's dang gems and crystals and other cool shit down here in there's plants. And a skeleton. And... Well, ain't that fucking wonderful. <laughs> okay, I'm kinda lost in the story here, like... The goal was to get out of the, the fucking attic, and now we're in the basement, down in the mines, and... What the fuck? Where's the story heading, dude? I'm a bit confused here. <laughs> oh no, the mine is collapsing. We got to get out of here. Fuck the canaries and other workers. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Ooh, so. Who the fuck is this bitch talking to me? Sorry for the swearing and all that shit, but <laughs> I'm just kind of confused right now. Pretty confused and I kind of pissed off too. Though the, the direction this coastal story is heading, I'm gonna leave my light off. Just follow the lights. Trust me. I haven't seen another fucking commentary note since I've been here. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> okay. All right. Where am I going? What is the fucking story? Where are the parents at? What the hell is going on? <laughs> and I got I not gotta be like this when I make my game. <laughs> now I'm kind of sound like it sound like a dick, but I do like the level design. That's pretty neat, but. Story is a little weak. Sorry, man. Well, I'm probably too quick to judge. Let me just keep going. Oh, Susan! Oh, Christ. And How did you find this place? Who the fuck is Susan? Be here. You gotta destroy that orb. No, who the fuck is Susan? What the fuck is going on? Well, let's just throw, throw rocks on it and shit. I don't see an orb, I just see a bunch of fucking lights. I gotta destroy the orb! Go away! I gotta destroy the orb, man! Holy fucking shit! Finally, some action! <laughs> okay. Oh my god! I gotta destroy the orb, son! I gotta destroy the orb! Holy fucking shit! What? 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 We gotta destroy the orb. We gotta. We gotta. Please, I beg you. Destroy the orb. 
How much of a fucking beating can this all take? <coughs> Destroy the goddamn orb! What the fuck? How many rocks I have to throw at it? Oh, I see another one. Who the fuck is Elizabeth? That's my- what the fuck? That's my biggest question now. I don't see an orb there, I just see lightning. A ball of lightning. And I hear glass breaking, but I don't see any glass. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Bow, bitch! What the fuck is going on? No. Finally! Christ, it broke. Did I just see a asterisk, death asterisk right there? Suzanne, are you right? Who Please the fuck up. is Suzanne? Uh, oh, where, where am I? Where's Elizabeth? The catacombs. Let's get out of here. What the fuck is going on? Hey, can you blow the cave in? We're stuck in here. What in the actual fuck is going on? Did I miss something? Did I not pick up the notes? I, like. What the, what the fuck? <laughs> I am so goddamn confused. <laughs> okay, now. Yeah, I. For um, the majority, I like playing it, but. What, the fuck? <laughs> I, I I just couldn't follow the story, man. I'm sorry, I could not follow at all. <sighs> I went good from the attic, but once I got out of the attic, the fucking story is thrown out the goddamn window, burned and fucking eat, ate, shat out, and fucking burned again, and thrown into the ocean, and a bunch of other shit. But... <sighs> okay. I'm sorry, um, uh, really, I'm sorry, like, I don't want to be a fucking dick, but I'm just going in full fucking critic mode right now, but, okay, I'll just give it like a 5 out of 10, alright, well, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.